Hey, hello scrappers. Fixing to uh, do some smaller ingots. Looks like I got a little bit of work to try to do on this. My pipe here is getting kind of loose. So I'm having to prop the burner up. Now for those that are new, yeah, I tried brazing that. It didn't work out too well. So I've just been winging it. Like that up there to kind of help hold it up. But I uh, got my air coming in here, propane here, and then the waste oil comes in here. Now, a lot of people seem to think I'm burning on just straight propane, but I'm not. I'll, I'll turn the propane on. You can see it's off right there. Yeah, that doesn't work too good, does it? Mainly got to just prop this thing up as level. Fairly level anyway, but uh, they can turn the propane on here in a minute. Here, throw some, a few of these cupcake ingots into the crucible. Yeah, some of these have got little pieces sticking out, don't go in too good down at the bottom. I tried to put them in a little further up. Three of them, that's a roughly a pound and a half of aluminum. About a half a pound a piece. I still gotta run in and get my burner. I wasn't quite good to go. And I gotta put this into the I took a piece of stiff wire and tape it on that way I don't suck off the bottom of the bottle which I uh, try to filter it, I run it through a, I got a funnel that's got a, a screen in the bottom, I run it through that for the first pass, and then the second pass I got a coffee filter I stick in the funnel, so I filter it down pretty good. And the tripod's kind of right in the way, I want to try to get that about as far away from the burner as I can, putting it down under this other table so I don't trip over it. And I'll go over here and turn the propane tank on. Just a couple turns. Let me run in and grab the other burner or the torch. Okay. Got the torch. I'm gonna pull this back out of there. Let me double check and make sure everything's in the shot for right now. Yeah, I think so. <coughs> you can kind of see what everything is going on, I, I do believe. I'm gonna try to talk and explain what I can, so this thing will get loud. So. Turn the propane on slowly. Get that a long way away from the fire. Okay, so you can hear the propane going right now. since I've used this I'm going to let it run on the propane for a couple minutes and uh, get the moisture out of it. I should probably have the gloves on but it's not that hot yet. Could be though. I'm going to zoom in on this gauge right here, but that's something I still have to do, I guess while it's preheating, I still got to hook up my air hose and plug in the compressor. I don't know why that's reading at two and a half pounds of air going in, because as you can see there's no hose hooked to it. So uh, 
I'm gonna let that preheat for a few minutes and get the moisture out of the crucible and out of the tank. And uh, I'll be right back when I get the, I don't even have the air plugged into the compressor yet, so back in a second. Okay, I got the air hooked up, plugged in. You can see, if you look at that line, that oil line, it's already dark. That's a brand new line, I just replaced it. I think the other one is just brittle because it's been out here in the sun for a year. So, I got half a notion to get that one horse trailer up here and move all this stuff into inside of it. Then I'd be kind of inside out of the weather a little bit. It's got windows all the, all the way around. The double doors at one end and little doors at the other end, plus uh, it's got the part that goes to, over the bed of the truck. There's really no floor in that, so, and a roof vent, so there's plenty of ventilation. That way I can put this in there, be out of the sun, constant shade. I could probably run a little electricity into it, wire a couple plug-ins in. I can put a fan in there if I need to. Okay, anyway, let's get on with the show. We're going to melt some cupcake ingots. You know I already put them down in there. And uh, what I've got is these molds. I think these are actually for lead, but cast iron is good uh, from what I heard for doing brass and aluminum. So I've got a guy wanting a box of these, which is roughly 30, 35 pounds. And uh, so I'm going to try to get get some made up and try to get that box filled up today for them, which I've got quite a few already. Uh, so, what we do now is hit a little air. We should get that oil going good. As you can see, I hope the hope this little breeze isn't causing noise with the. Uh, video. You can see there I'm at about 8 pounds of pressure now. I'll get it up to about 20. But you can hear it kind of fluttering. So when I shut the... You can hear that flutter. I shut the propane off and it kind of died out. shut off there at the valve. I guess that wasn't too good of a shot. I'm going to move the tripod around back. Kind of get you guys a... I think I'll take the camera off the tripod first. Get you guys moved around back where you can kind of see down in there a little bit. Plus you'll be in a better... better view for the pour. right now too, I'm only on, just 
go back around. You see the air pressure is only up to 10. So, I'm just kind of heating it up slowly. So it's been a while since I've used this. Make sure we get all the moisture out.
Well, sounds like sounds like the fire went out. Let's see what's going on with that here in a second. I'll turn the air completely off. Might be hot enough in there to. Crack the propane open again. Let's see what happens. Yeah, apparently it's not hot enough. Just kind of hoping the propane might fire up. Okay.
enjoying the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Share the video with your friends. All that good stuff. Yeah, I'm only running 10 pounds of pressure right now on the air. I need to bump it up about 15, 17. So. Yeah, I didn't get much reaction from the ingots in the cold water. Definitely wear your protection. PPE. And yeah, the hot handle's a little warm, even through the gloves. I think it's weighed about a half a pound, so four of these make about a pound, give or take. Let's go ahead and do one more melt. Just make it. <laughs> Haven't got away. through about a half a gallon of oil and it's been uh, let's see an hour and five minutes since I started preheating and it's the third batch so it's not too bad
going to go ahead and just shut it down. We're smoking now. Probably got excess oil in there. Do this pour, then I'm going to go get me something to eat. Yes. I got the oil up too much because the back of this thing is tipped down to that cupcake pan and I got oil in the cupcake pan so I got the oil up a little bit too high. I'm getting about probably close to 10 pounds of ingots per gallon of waste oil. Okay. Must be a little moisture inside that thing. I'm going to go ahead and set this back down into the furnace and just let it cool down slowly. It's still pretty liquidy. Give them a minute. Yeah, I'm getting a little hungry, so I thought I'd go ahead and stop here. You see, I got six ingots there, so that's what a pound and a half. Two, three, four, five, about six pounds. About six pounds of ingots we just did, maybe a hair over. I have that one little half ingot. I'm debating on moving that horse trailer up here. I don't know, this might might be a little premature on these. Yeah, I think so. I think it was. Yeah, they're still a little soft. It doesn't take long for them to cool down. But it is probably a good 90 degrees out here, 95. Okay, I'm going to go in and eat and uh, start getting this video ready to upload. So we'll see you guys all in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. And like I said, if you did, uh, hit that thumbs up and give it a like. Share it with your friends. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.